Over the past 12 months, the cost of living in Australia has increased significantly. Take a look at this graph. As of July 2023, food inflation stands at 7.5%, with prices of dairy products leading at 15.2%, followed by breads and cereals. A report from the Monash Center of Youth Policy and Education Practice has found that international students are going hungry at alarming rates. Many have reported to be struggling to bear the burden. When I was in Singapore, it used to be pretty normal that I'd often go out and get food with friends. However, since moving here, due to the rising costs of living, I try to avoid eating out as much as possible because it's really hard to find anything that's really good value. You'll either not spend enough and get a meal that's too small, or you'll have to spend way too much to get something that's actually filling. Well, when I'm in Thailand, I used to eat a lot more than this. Yeah, I used to eat like three meals. Compared to here, I lessened it to two meals. And I have to sign up for the food relief program from my uni in order to get the frozen meals to help me with my daily meals intake. I have to say that it's now harder to eating out and I usually have to eat frozen food instead of fresh product to stay on budget. Digital technology helped me a lot in this situation. I uh, use TikTok to connect with other international students who sharing very good tips about grocery shopping. And I can go on supermarket website and compare the price and their discount before actually go to shopping grocery. My Taiwanese friend told me about this Chinese app in which it will tell you about the discount items from like supermarket like Coles or Woolworths that save me like a lot of money. There's a extension that I use on my browser called Honey. It searches the entire internet for discount codes for when you check out online. These apps have definitely helped me save a, uh, a lot of money. It's not a huge amount with every single purchase, but over time it definitely adds up. But if the inflation continues to rise, I'm not sure how long I could bear with this situation. I'm quite fortunate in that I'm not uh, completely financially independent. However, if things continue the way they are, it's more than likely I'll have to get some kind of work or part-time job. I'm hoping that uh, this won't happen, but if it does, I'll have to be cautious and make sure I get something that will make me enough money that I can keep going, but also not take away too much time from school.